folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2020. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this word processor effect with blinking cursor and all. So first I created a new composition by going to composition, new composition, or use the keyboard shortcut command N or control N if you're on PC. The settings that I used were 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels, and it was a 10 second duration. Then I added this paper texture. I added a typewriter illustration. Now it's time to add some type. In the toolbar, click on T for the type tool, click anywhere in your composition and type in your message. I'll grab the selection tool so I can move the type wherever I want. Then you can open up the character panel, choose the font that you want. For this, I'm using a font called Londrina Solid. Click on the eyedropper tool to sample a color. And now it's time to add the word processor effect. First, make sure that the type layer is selected in your timeline. Then come up to the effects and the presets. In the search menu, you can type in word processor or just type in processor. All you need to do is just double click and it will apply that effect to the text layer. And if I tap on the space bar to preview, you will see that the animation has already been created for us, but it's moving too fast. This is what we want to create. The cursor blinks on at the beginning. It starts typing, it pauses, the cursor is still blinking, and then it finishes up the type. Click on the type layer that will bring up the effect controls for the word processor effect. I can tell by the blue stopwatch that there's already keyframes set for the type on effect. To view the keyframes, you're going to tap on the letter U and you will see here there are two keyframes right here. When I drag the playhead, you will see it starts typing right away, but our example, we had the blinking cursor at the beginning. So for that, we're just gonna select both keyframes by dragging over them, and I'm just gonna drag it out. We'll stop here at about the three second mark, and now you will see we have the blinking cursor, and when it gets to the first keyframe for type on, it will start typing on. To modify the speed of the cursor blink, you're gonna use cursor blink. You can set keyframes, or you can just crank it way up. So now if I hit the space bar, you'll see it's moving really fast. But remember, we wanted it to type on, and when it got to right here, we wanted it to pause. So for that, I'm gonna create a keyframe, but click on this diamond. I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna select toggle hold keyframe. What that does is it's gonna stop the animation until I tell it to move again, or until it gets to this last keyframe here. I'm gonna create another keyframe. We don't want it to be a toggle hold, so I'm gonna right click and go to keyframe assistance. I'm just gonna give it an easy ease keyframe. And now you will see here, it's gonna type out the rest and I can space this out here to give it the duration I want. I'll go back to the beginning. We have a blinking cursor. It's gonna start typing. Hold, blink, and it's gonna finish typing. My name is Mike Murphy, and that is how you add the word processor animation preset in Adobe After Effects CC 2020. Cheers.